Joining us from Kaduna is Reverend John Joseph Hayab, current chairman Kaduna State. He will be speaking on the Kaduna train attack. Many thanks for joining us this evening, sir. Thank you for having me. Good evening. So it's been 30 days since the Kaduna Abuja train attack. How is the family of the victims faring? It is really sad. Uh, on the 28th of March, this unfortunate incident of the train attack happened, and tomorrow will be exactly 30 days, as you rightly said. Earlier this afternoon, I hosted some representatives of the family in our secretariat, that's the Khan Secretariat here in Kaduna, to encourage them, to pray with them, and to speak with them. They share their concern, they share their pains, they share their feelings with us. Uh, it is painful, you know. Your brother just traveled or probably went to work, and you are expecting him back in the evening and just something happened, and that is all. One day, one week, two weeks, 20 days, 30 days. It is not really easy. I can see their pains, and I can feel it myself, because uh, when you are talking with them, you can also understand that they are really traumatized. Mm, that is very sad indeed. But what is CAM doing to task government to ensure security of the citizens? Well, our primary responsibility as an association is to be the uh, moral conscience of the society and government. What we do is that to awaken them from their slumber, remind them of what they need to do. But unfortunately, as many people know that uh, we are having a situation today in Nigeria that the government at the federal level and even at the state level seems to take any advice or anybody calling her attention to do what is expected of her as an opposition or someone who is against government. Uh, that's the unfortunate side of it. But the reality is that the victims of that attack, those who are still in the bandit, with the bandits, are our brothers. They are our neighbors. They are our friends. They are our colleagues. Irrespective of their tribe, irrespective of the region they come from, since they are in Kaduna, they become our brothers. And if I'm the leader of the church in Kaduna, I become the leader of those of them who are Christians. If I'm the leader of the church in Kaduna, I'm already a neighbor of those of them who are, are Muslims. So they are part of us and we have to speak for them. As when I was discussing today with them, I, today with them, I realized that in the, with the bandit at the moment, there are 17 women, four children, and 42 men. There are that's about six to two people with the, bandit, with the bandit. And you know, the bandits have the audacity to flung their pictures, to intimidate us or to show us what we don't even understand. And that's why we believe our government needs to wake up and show the bandits that they are the ones in charge of the territory called Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hmm. All right. Well spoken. Thank you very much, sir. Reverend John Joseph Ayak Khan, Chairman Katuna State. We thank you so much for being part of our news this evening. Thank you also for having me. Now moving